Well, let's talk about why Platonism is completely useless and scales absolutely nowhere. Platonism, in simple terms, is a philosophical theory that says that from every material object derives its own concept, its own perfect origin where the material object cannot be the cause of its own existence and depends on something higher, precisely a concept that has the properties of being abstract and immaterial. Plato, as an example, used mathematics and numbers as he considered them to be abstract and considered every single contingent, in contingent entity to be derived from something. And that is why Plato shoved all these perfect origins and forms into a single realm called the hyper-uranium, or the world of ideas. Only in part was Plato really right, that in cases where he took time or even mathematics as references and considered them abstract concepts. The problem arises at a point where he himself considered everything to be a copy of what was the original and perfect form without any scruples. In practice, he ignored the case where there are concepts that don't actually exist. To get into specifics, a concept is an idea, a conception, that represents a phenomenon, its origin. There are concepts considered as ob objective, since they are universally or existentially valid and applicable in all cases and occasions. But there are also subjective concepts, since they have no universal or existential applicability. Objective concepts, for example, are mathematics, space, time, or any high physical value that has a universal rules or axioms on which to rest. Subjective concepts, on the other hand, are ideas such as duality between fire and water or fire and ice, light, darkness, good, evil, the concept of glory, victory, beauty, fear, and the likes. The difference is obvious. Transcending the concept of dimensions or space and time implies that no matter what physical or dimensional structure you may have, because you are above the very origin from which the structure comes, you will automatically and logically find yourself above the structure itself. In contrast to transcending the concept of beauty, that doesn't qualify for anything, since beauty itself doesn't exist. It's a human ideation that lacks any physical property, axiom, or universal principle on the existential level. The same reason it applies for glory and any other subjective concept. Going back to Plato, the point is that he considered things like victory or beauty objective and therefore following Platonism, transcending something like evil or justice should qualify to be beyond any physical or dimensional extension or applicability. I think it's also self-evident that this is a load of crap, but for the developed few of intellect who don't get it, it seems to me to be proper to say that between a platonic concept and an outerversal or higher scaling, there is no correlation. The last point to be made is that subjective concepts do not exist. In fact, there is only one that which is and cannot be. There is that which exists, there is not that which exists which cannot. I don't know if you understood what I said. Therefore, if the concept of beauty is subjective, this is an example, by the way, it does not mean that it exists in a subjective way, but it means directly that beauty does not exist. And therefore, since there is no quali qualifiable objective value, that it is possible to create the value itself at will, precisely because there is no real and cor correct scale to follow it in the first place. So, Platonism and things that relate to Platonism scale absolutely nowhere. Unless you're scaling the Platonic concept of time and space, if you're not scaling the Platonic concept of time and space, then it scales absolutely nowhere.